What is going on guys, this is Ninjok here. Today, I'm going to be going over the top 5 best starting weapons in COD Zombies. Keep in mind that we are going over the non-packed versions, just to make things pretty clear. But otherwise, without any further I said, let's jump into this everyone. Starting things off, we have the Olympia. Starting things off, we have the Olympia. What makes the Olympia so good is that... Unlike the Ballista, which I absolutely hate because it's a bolt action and we don't need to worry about that crap. The Olympia can actually save your life on very early rounds. And it's just a fun weapon. Sure, it was a really hard one to pick for number 5. But if I have to be real here, honestly, the Olympia is just a lot of fun to use out of the weapons that I could think of out of number 5. And also, it can save you sometimes, so... Anyways, the Olympia, it's a classic and it comes in at the number 5 spot. Moving to number 4 spot, we have the M14. Honestly, the M14 is one of those weapons that whenever I think of OG zombies, this is literally the weapon I always think of every time when it comes into starting room weapons. It's a good balance for an early starting weapon. And honestly, it's something that is really enjoyable. It's not something boring. and has a good iron sight for it. Honestly... At the end of the day, I will say now that that the gun the gun itself definitely does have a great amount of ammo, and I will be real here that I definitely do enjoy it. However, it does last until round five, but even on round five, it definitely still has a unique purpose, and you can do like combos there. But otherwise, as much as I do enjoy a starting weapon, but there's just three more that are better than this, so. Anyways, the M14, a great starting weapon, comes in at the number 4 spot. Coming into the number 3 spot, we have the Strife. Where to begin with this awesome BO4 starting weapon? Unlike the other BO4 starting weapons, which are absolute garbage, and speaking about how bad that game is, that game, BO1 and BO3, honestly, I want to do a review on those games whenever I get time, because honestly, I hate BO4. But the other two I definitely enjoy. But um, anyways, let's go back to the main topic, the Strife. It's a great weapon for a number of reasons, but I'm going to try and explain it the quickest I can, which is it has great ammo. It has a good amount of shots, so you never feel like it's too quick or too long. And honestly, it's just a really good starting weapon, and I'm surprised by just how good it can be. Also, it's great when packed punch too, which I love it packed, but however, we're mainly covering starting weapons without pack. But, um, man, this is just straight up a lot of fun. And to be honest here, I just really enjoy just using this weapon as great ammo. And yeah, even the headshots do a great amount of damage. But yeah, in the end of the day, this is definitely the number one pick when it comes down to BO4 starting weapons because this is like the number one thing I think of but otherwise as much as I do enjoy this weapon we've got a classic BO3 weapon coming up so anyways the strife comes at number three spot coming into number two spot we have the younger brother for the B23R the RK5 so the RK5 is the type of weapon that it's definitely one that you would definitely pick in zombies why not multiplayer you may be wondering well because in multiplayer compared to the B23R, which the B23R is like infinity times better than the RK5 in multiplayer from BO3, mainly because it's just overall better damage and it's better everything. But however, what the RK5 does better than he, than the older brother is that this thing is actually a wall buy in the starting room. Yes, no longer do you have to pay 900 or 1,000 points for a wall weapon just to get the same thing so take that B23R in zombies but not multiplayer however because I mean multiplayer infinity times better however the RK5 man just paying 500 for it that's the real price for how it should cost and also it's way better in zombies anyway but man it's so good in fact it's so good it can last you up to round 15 if you don't actually you shoot anywhere else outside the head like what round 15 to the head no way a starting weapon holy crap that is great also the weapon itself is super reliable and it can save your life at any time and 
Wow, it's just a lifesaver. Also, it's a beast when pack a punch too, which really makes it super reliable. The weapon itself has great ammo. Also has really good point building. So yes, if you want a weapon that's next to SMG tier, this is definitely the one until you get to about round 12. But I mean, you can make it last around 15, like I said, the headshot thing, but However, about like round 9 or 12 is where you really shouldn't have it, but that's just starting weapons. However, yeah, this is definitely a nice weapon for not just a starting wall buy, but also a good easter egg reward for when you've done the main BO3 easter eggs from, of course, the non-chronicle maps, which is definitely amazing. Anyways, as much as I like the RK5, but we're going to go over one honourable mention on this list. Today's honorable mention would be the M1911. Honestly, these weapons are great without pack because man, because it just it's just a great starting weapon and it's only just an OG weapon that you know it's just a classic, nothing special. I mainly just wanted to put it on here because it's just a great starting weapon and to be honest here, it's just a great nice point building one. It's not meant to be powerful, but it's definitely one that I can build a crap ton of points with even when I have no other weapons, and to be real here, it's just such an OG weapon I just had to mention on here, and also definitely pack punch these things when you get the time, if there's PhD or if it's BO2, because these things are a beast. Coming into number one spot, lol, as if I'm totally not going to mention this on the list, the Elsa. Three words to describe this weapon, OP gun, OP gun, OP gun. Okay, never mind, I'm just going to explain what makes this weapon really good. Well, <laughs> oh my god, you guys got trolled right there because the truth is that wasn't really it. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, let's get back to the real deal. Alright, where to begin? This weapon is 2000 and it's in the starting room of Buried. What? Yes, that's right. This is a starting room weapon and this costs 2000 points. Yo, this is definitely going to be sweet. And what do you know? It's beyond good and wow. Yeah, this, this is definitely the weapon to play Buried with. And let me tell you now, it's so overpowered that even while it got patched, it's still overpowered as like BFG 9000 level. But in starting room steroids and holy crap this is definitely the weapon the best ammo the best damage for a starting room weapon and yeah even while packed yeah you're definitely never gonna not use anything else over this until you like really got the ray gun mark 2 and the paralyzer because all i am just say is once you got this weapon you're set for life and if you want to get wall by ammo for it yeah you're gonna need the paralyzer because you're gonna get no luck out of getting it because it's impossible and yeah, good luck trying to get it if you have more than just yourself playing because everyone would like to do it unless of course they want to troll you like you know make it impossible to get the L set so yeah, good luck trying to get it and yeah, may the force be with you because this is an overpowered weapon and definitely use it every time you get buried. Anyways, L set comes in at the number one spot for real.